Welcome to Bungie TV, news, trends, and information important to your food business. I'm Stacy Wagers. News from the National Restaurant Association's industry update from Technomic shows the food service industry has experienced the first real growth since 2007. Consumer confidence appears to be rebounding, although the uncertainty of how high gas prices will go is still a concern for many. The report shows that chain restaurants that remain consistent with food quality, convenience and deals are having the greatest success. Five Guys and Chipotle dominate the fastest growing chains, other chains to watch in full service, Yard House and BJ's Brew House. Another company to watch in the industry is the new niche club store, The Chef's Warehouse. The Chef's Warehouse is a premier distributor of specialty food focused on serving the specific needs of owner-operators of leading menu-driven independent restaurants, fine dining establishments, non-commercial outlets, culinary schools, and specialty food stores. The Chef's Warehouse carries and distributes nearly 17,000 products, including more than 125 different olive oils. Now let's head to St. Louis for the latest Commodity Report update. The biggest factor across our markets lately has been a large rally than a large decrease in prices. Soybean oil has fallen about 5 cents since April 12, largely as a result of crude oil falling about $10. The reason this has happened has been debt worries in Europe as well as decreasing tensions with Iran. This will be a main thing to watch ahead of the next USDA report on June 11th and the acreage report June 29th. We did just have a USDA report that showed historically tight soybean supplies for the new crop, but a lot of traders are discounting this thinking that on the June 29th report, the USDA will show acres increase above 73.9 million. More acres mean more beans, more beans mean more crush, more crush means more oil. The National Restaurant Association show is being called a success this year after selling out its display space with 1,900 exhibitors, including 500 who were there for the first time. Attendance was also up at the annual Chicago show with around 58,000 checking in. The NRA show wouldn't be complete without the presence of Bungie Mo, and this year the newest Bungie food truck, Mo 2, had the honor of tailgating at Chicago's Wrigley Field on Monday night with nearly 200 guests. Bungie chefs served up a variety of tasty items, all prepared using Bungie products. The Cubs won 5-1, to one, and Bungie Mo definitely hit a home run of its own with the event. Your next chance to see Bungie Mo is at the Institute of Food Technologists annual meeting in Las Vegas. Mo 2 will be there June 25th through 28th. And the Bungie Ingredient Innovation Center in Bradley, Illinois is on schedule to open mid to late June. We'll have more information about that in next month's episode of Bungie TV. Until then, I'm Stacy Wagers. Thanks for watching.